Hi, my name is George Mount with Enterprise DNA, and in this video, we are going to look at how to load sample data sets in Python. So this may not seem like the most glamorous topic, but it's actually quite important. So ideally, you're gonna have some data sets that you can practice on, for one, right, when you're learning new concepts. You can pull something out of the packages we're gonna use, but it's also good practice in more than one way, and by that I mean, if you're going to share your code, you want to document what you've done, or if you want help, it's really a good idea to use a generally available data set to build something what's called a minimally reproducible example. You're going to have kind of a pre-bundled bit of code, a script that somebody else on the internet can run, and they can help you with it when uh, you ask for it. Uh, otherwise, if you do not produce these minimally reproducible examples, it's a little easy to get flamed on places like Stack Overflow, which can be a bit of a shock if, if you're not familiar with that. So let's look at a few ways to build these minimally re reproducible examples, or at least get the data sets. There are a few packages that you can use to load in a pre-made data set into Python and, and share that code around. We'll talk a little more about MREs or minimally reproducible examples in, in the close here. So I'm gonna fire up a blank Jupyter notebook and we will get started. Okay, so there are a few places where you can get pre-made data sets or sample data sets in Python. We're gonna look at three packages. These are all pretty, pretty common ones. Uh, so the first one we're gonna look at is called sklearn. If you're using Anaconda, you will not need to download this. Uh, if you'd like more help, of course, with Python, Enterprise DNA does have a Python for Power BI users course. Uh, I'm gonna assume that you know things like packages and, and we'll just go from there. So I'm gonna bring in pandas, except I forgot to alias that. Uh, I'm going to bring in sklearn, specifically the data sets uh, sub-module here. So we're gonna call this data sets. Now there are gonna be quite a few of these data sets. Uh, you can check the documentation for that. Uh, Scikit-learn calls them toy data sets. So I'm gonna bring in one, and I'm gonna call it data sets load Boston. So this is a housing prices data set. Uh, so when I bring this in, if you're not familiar with Scikit-learn, this is more of a, more of a machine learning data uh, library, I should say. And it is a specific data type. This is a Scikit-learn package uh, object so we'd probably rather have it as a data frame and we can easily do that uh, what I'm gonna do is make this a data frame uh, what I can do here is actually specify that the data and columns are coming from the scikit-learn data set I also need to and I'm just gonna call this target this is very machine learning ask uh, scikit-learn is separating the feature variables and the target variable, if you're familiar with that lingo. And what I'm gonna do is get this in as a data frame, and now we can operate it on it, graph it, do different things with it. Panda is a great package to know uh, as a Power BI user. So that's one option, scikit-learn. Another one is gonna be this uh, Vega data sets package. Now this one is not available on Anaconda. You can install it through pip. So that would be running this on your command line. You're gonna install Vega data sets. What I'm gonna do here is install or import the uh, local data module. Now some of these you can actually get, but you need a web connection. So I'm just gonna bring in the ones that are installed locally. And I'm gonna import local data. And what I can do is local data I'm gonna list the data sets that are available to me. So I'm gonna run that and there are quite a few, you know, all different kinds. Some of these are time series. Some of these have categorical or continuous variables and things like that. So I'm gonna load in, let's do the cars data set here. So that's gonna be local data uh, and then cars. And that is gonna be a data frame. So I could run the head method on it and we have another sample data set that we can use and share. Okay, and then let's do one more here. Uh, this is from Seaborn. So this is another package that is available in 
uh, the Anaconda distribution by, just by default. This one is best known for data visualization, Seaborn, but it does also have some great sample data sets that you can use. Uh, so I'm going to do SNS, get data set names. So let's just print what's available to us. Again, there are quite a few here, all different kinds. And I'm going to go ahead and use the penguins data set here. So I will do penguins uh, sns.load data set oh, penguins. Uh, and then get the first few rows again. And there is another data set for us to practice on. And again, the idea here is not just to have the data sets to practice on, but we could, you know, maybe we're having trouble. Uh, you see here that there are some missing values in, in this data set. Maybe we're having trouble dropping them, or maybe we want to uh, fill in the categorical variable and we're not sure how to do that. And we'd like to show an example to other people. And all we would need to do in this case, rather than including a file or you know, giving some sensitive data that you shouldn't uh, to the outside world, you can just use one of these kind of publicly accessible data sets that are really, really easy for people to use and share. So that's really the idea of a minimally reproducible example. So let's wrap up here and send you on your way. Okay, so to recap, we're looking for sample data sets. I gave you three places. There may be others in, in Python. If you have a favorite place to get sample data that's contained in a package, let us know. Uh, but scikit-learn was the first one. It's more of a machine learning package. It's a little harder to convert, but if you are doing things related to machine learning and you want that example, then that's a place to go. Uh, Vega data sets has quite a good number of data sets, especially if you use the method to get data sets from the web. We were just doing the local ones. Um, it's a little bit harder to load. I mean, relatively harder. You just have to use pip versus having it pre-installed with Anaconda. So it's not the end of the world. Um, Seaborn, I would say, is really the sweet spot when we're looking for a sample data set. This package comes with Anaconda. It loads as a data frame. It's got quite a lot of versatility. It's a really good one to be using uh, for sample data sets and for reproducible examples. Okay, and to leave you with one more resource, Stack Overflow I mentioned earlier does have a tutorial on how to write a good minimally reproducible example, MRE or RepRex is another way. So I would check that out if you're looking to post something online, and this could even work for Power BI, right? Uh, anything that you do, you wanna make a minimally reproducible example to get the help, have those people on the forums be able to help you if you help them. So you can check that out and really appreciate you watching this. Hope you learned something. You know, maybe it doesn't sound like the most glamorous topic, but knowing where to get good data sets and sharing a good MRE is a really, really important skill to have as an analyst. So you'll pick something up here. And again, this is George Mount with Enterprise DNA. Thanks for tuning in. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.